Draw a deflection of this triangle T in the line x equals 0. First, let's draw the line itself, x equals 0. That's basically the y-axis over here. So this is x equals 0. And we need to deflect this triangle across this line. So let's reflect each of the three points separately and then join them together. This one is two units away from the line perpendicularly, which means that at right angles to the line. So when you draw a line from here, going at right angles, it's two units. Then we can just continue this line two more units and we'll get to the reflection point. So this is the corresponding point reflected and doing that for other two points, you'll get these two as well. And now you can just join the dots to get the answer for A1 over here. Now for part two, draw the rotation of triangle T about minus two minus one, which is the point over here, to 90 degrees clockwise. So going 90 degrees clockwise means we're going in this direction. And 90 degrees, that means the triangle will be flipped to something like this. Now we just need to find the points where it's rotated. So let's take each of the three points, rotate them 90 degrees clockwise separately. So this one is originally left two and down one to get from the center to this point. Now it becomes up two and left one unit. So it goes here. And similarly, we can see the second point over here is two units left and four units down from the center. Now rotating 90 degrees, it goes two units up and four units left getting to minus six comma one and now for a final point there is just four units below the center so now it becomes four units to the left of the center and it's over here so we can just join the dots of course don't connect the center with this this one is a separate point only connect these three and we get our triangle over here which is our answer for a part two